guys welcome back to the channel hey do me a favor hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel stick around for a while well hay and season is upon us the silos are all done we probably got 250 acres left of dry hay to put up we'll, we'll round ballot feed it to the heifers and the young cattle well i went and hooked up the rake to my unloading tractor i think it's a 5325 front wheel drive smaller tractor newer it's probably a 2012 well one of the hydraulic outlets wasn't working right so i had to come up with something i needed dual outlets and there was only so many tractors that are freed up so i used our blower tractor the 4430 this thing's probably older than i am she's got plenty of horsepower in it i might make that into my new rake and tractor because this is a big bad rake speed rake sr 600 coon and and she she's wide but it's got to pick up both of them 16 foot 16 foot disc pine swaths we probably got half of that 250 acres of hay on the ground i mean this field alone's 80 acres i just got done raking a different field what i'm doing here is i'm going around and i'm raking the headlands six time around look how big these windrows are they're they're just they're massive and they're raking up dry because if you feel this ground that ground is warm so it's drying from underneath and on top 80 degrees today pushing 90 tomorrow this is going to be like a two-day project to get this off i just called mark i said look she's dry he's going to head over here go around the field pick up all these headlands and then i'm going to start raking up and back so i'm not knocking these over with my rake the rake goes up high but not this high that's three feet let's go
that was marked. That was a new baler last year, 560M. These these bales. That is a stout bale. See how tight them are? We net wrap them. That's a 6420 John Deere tractor. I think it's uh might be like a 2005, but uh, we use that for snow plowing. We got a front loader for it. Take the front loader off during the summer for hay season. It's just though that's a good combo, 6420 and that baler. They're they're a good fit. You've seen that, so. He's taking the far, far fence row or end rows off. By the time I get down there, we'll be going up and back. I'm back. I ended up finishing raking half of that. Uh, if you've seen from that aerial footage, that 80 acres is cut down the middle with a drainage ditch. So that's enough for, for tonight. Mark's going to be half the night bailing that anyway. I'm going to start fresh in the morning getting that, uh, getting the other side done. Headlands are off. I'm feeding these cows. These guys just got done getting milk, milking time. So I'll, I'll show you how I'm feeding. This silo is up and rolling. Let it down a couple. And I've got corn silage in that wagon, solely corn silage and high, and high moisture grain coming out down there. So that's your mixture. I did a lot of service in that silo loader. You guys seen, I showed you what I did and it, knock on wood, it's been working uh, beautifully. And these bunks are filling up fast. Real quick, I'll take you in here. Barn roof, south side's getting done now. So right now they've got what you call a, a big moon roof on the barn. These cows are in there in the holding area, so sun's bathing in. Not a lot of rain coming, hopefully, but uh, also Lonnie, he's been still, that's my nephew, still been power washing all these walls. He's made it from all the way around and all the way around through here. And now we're about to start on, you see there's walls here left. We're gonna wash the whole place down. Once you start something, it's like, it's almost like a bathroom or a house remodel. Once, once you do one thing, something else don't look as good. So you, you gotta end up going through the whole kit and caboodle. Anyway, so while we were getting locking these cows in to get milk, I had a cow down. She was over there, 143, just calf. I'm thinking it's milk fever. I had to hook her up, give her an airlift over that maternity pen. So once we get this all wrapped up, which is only going to be a couple minutes, we're going to get the, the calcium and the dextrose and the IV kit, and we're going to we're going to try to treat her, see if we can get her up, or at least she'll have that in her. Because as we're going in through the night, you you can't. Leave her untouched. We've got the goods. Wolford boys are back milking. Oh, well, I guess we gotta relax here. Let's head out. 
Bit of a skylight action in here. Roof's off the maternity pen. How you doing, Mama? And we're in. Um, she's being very calm. I got a little nasty putting this together, but I'm about to switch over to the other bottle already. And hopefully she's good to go. Give her a little water and hay. See, she's going for it. That's a good sign. We're going to let her relax in here for a while. <laughs> Chloe, you're going to be seven years old soon. What are we going to do? Where are we going? We're going to get her a bike. I like what you mean. <laughs> you like Walmart? Uh. Which one? <laughs> you walking, bud? Hi, bud. Keep going, bud. There she is. Keep going, Bubba. Good, bud. Happy birthday. Cows are milked and fed and taken care of. Manure's hauled out. We're going to head on over the second part of the 80 acres that's divided by that ditch and get raking it. Mark's heading over shortly. It's gonna be a hot one, but we're gonna hope we have a good day and get most of this hay off. Had a plug up first time. This hay is the thickest we've ever seen it. And sometimes it can get wound around here and stop these. Wow. Got to cut it out of there. And that, my friends, why a farmer must always carry a knife. You can see just how much hay it really is, man. These are massive windrows. A tractor's currently is getting.
just getting back, run these cows out some feed. How you doing, Bubba? Hot out. Mark, uh, he just called. He said if we got to go back over to the field. We had a bale that half tied. So I'm going to take the skid steer and get it out of there. So Because when I lift that bale up, it's going to leave some chaff on the ground. And he can bale that clean so it's out of the field. But yeah, that's a new baler. But he, even in this kind of heat, the new stuff even miss a bale or screw up once in a while. I put a, a bale here in the barnyard. That way it'll they can eat it and stay out of that out of that humidity it's, it's cool underneath these barn Not bad. Not bad. that's going to do it for the video thanks for sticking around the whole thing hey we're going to be have a two-day project just moving all them bales off the field he'll be half the night bailing that i've got to get some corn silage in this wagon so we can get them cows fed tonight so a lot going on but we're doing a good job take care and uh, see you in the next one god bless